So this could well be bargain of the year 2022. Um, but please do not expect gold for the price of copper. You do so most certainly get what you pay for. So Parkgate Leisure here. Please subscribe. We've got we've got this one running, and we've been waiting for it to get dark because we were hoping I could shoot the video in the dark because it'll definitely look best then. Um, but yeah, th this is a cheapy. It's kind of a project, but it is very usable as it is. We're not going to retail it, so it doesn't come fully checked and warranted, etc. You pay your money, you take your chance. Um, I'll tell you about the drive in a minute, but we'll just start. Uh, something's been attached there, don't know what. We're just going to start going round and pointing out uh, some of the defects. Obviously, this needs coming up and resealing. Um, I suspect there's been some water ingress there. We've got a bit of a, a dent, a scar up there. Um, van this age, that's just how it is. This window needs to come off and be resealed. Somebody's uh, had a go at oversealing it with something fairly horrible that's gone very, very hard. But uh, there you go. Same with the gas locker and that little locker there as well. Got a tow bar. Now I can confirm from having a drive, it actually goes. Uh, it goes very well. There's actually a reverse camera there connected to the radio. Cracking little bit of kit. Um, yeah, it, it, it goes really well. I mean, it is positively pedestrian with its pace. Um, it gets up to sort of 60 miles an hour in, in literally minutes. Um, wow, that one's quite solid there. But I suppose, what do you expect from a, a 2.5? There's a bit of, bit of panel rot here. So again, there's probably some damp in the back of there. Some nice sills that somebody's added. We've got some uh, very black front bumper. We've got some amazing tyres on the front, infinity and beyond, no doubt. Uh, we've got proper Continental Vancos on the backs, which is quite impressive. Now it's been re-floored re inside. Looks all right. If you look up really close, you can see Obviously the silicon that people have to put around the edges to try and keep the floor in place. Um, but yeah, the floor looks pretty good. And you know what? On the whole, the van does look very presentable. You know, the upholstery's not threaded, snagged, not even dirty. Yeah, there's some buttons have come off where there should be buttons like that in, so they've popped off. But... <sighs> Perhaps a uh, winner of the sewing bee could sort something like that out if you can get in touch with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, on the whole, the cabinets are lovely. There's loads of them. We've got double skylights there. I've just fired up the light. Somebody's put LEDs in these. They all seem to work. Um, you've got blinds on all the windows, fly screens. Uh, the control panel's lit up. Again, we've not put gas on, we've not checked it. Please do your own checks. Kitchen looks very presentable. There's quite a quirky little drinks cabinet with glasses holder there. TV space up on there, although somebody has mounted the TV there, which probably makes more sense. Make your cocktails over here. Serve them out that window. Um, anyway, your, your sink all good the fridge looks to be a more modern than original that could probably do with a bit of a clean we aren't cleaning it um, there's a little extension panel on the end there so I can hear you all shouting what's the catch what's the catch why is it a project front seat arms are all in uh, Good order. Oh yeah, we'll show you the. So 70,000 miles. Into reverse and this crazy little camera comes on. And the bathroom. Don't worry, that's not the project. That uh, all seems to be intact as well. Um, probably a light in there somewhere but I can't find it now then we've got some water ingress though that is the catch 
So this wall is a bit soft and spongy. It's coming through the ceiling there a little bit as well. This has got one of those crazy leather clad ceilings. It's sort of leather panels all the way back. Um, they seem to be all right. No idea what water ingress is or isn't behind them up there, but there's definitely been some in here. Needs a little bit of attention in there. Um, over cab, great big windows quite spacious it doesn't seem too bad in there but again this wall here I don't know if it's still wet now we haven't bothered with a meter because well because quite frankly you can tell there's there's some issue that's quite soft it's soft and spongy along there there's even a little bit of bubbling that's quite solid that's bass drum so there's water in there um, similar story here that's got some that hasn't but it's kind of like that bit on there I mean that that window needs to needs to come out and be resealed because it's soft all the way along the bottom of there but how far do you want to go you could use this and move it on or you could set to and start trying to put some things right uh, but either way it's a bargain so get yourselves on the website parkgateleisure.co.uk um, it's going to be on there within a day or so or probably straight away by the time this video lands um, I don't imagine it'll be around for long but yeah do subscribe do like us do post some comments thank you very much